What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Mode WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna guide you through the WordPress dropdowns or submenus. So what is a submenu? This is one example. Under the main page of your menu, you have submenus, in the case that you want to show, related pages. Like under shop, you have my account, cart and checkout, for example. And how to do that? Go to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, menus. This is the Spark WordPress theme, a red building menu. You get it when you install your theme and import the demo. Let me change its extruder. Update the page, as you can see. The home standard is no longer a submenu, it's a main menu item. Let me remove that. You need to make sure that your menu is set as primary menu so it can be displayed in the site front end. As you can notice here, in the page section, you can add pages into your menu. In the right arrow of the menu item, you can expand the menu options in a drop-down menu and remove the item if you want. Now, let's check this page. This drop-down on their pages have columns in the submenus. This system is usually called Mega Menu. Let me create a new one so we can do that from the beginning. After our new menu creation, we need to add some items on it. Once we do not want any page, let me create a new custom link with nothing inside it. Just to serve as a menu anchor or hover for the items under it. To do that, just use this special character and the title and label. Let me title it as pages. Now, let me create another custom links, linking to nowhere, the column 1 and column 2, and move it under the page. Set this new menu as primary menu, so we can see. Now, let me add more pages on it. And move it under the columns layout. The same amount of page in each sub item four in the column one and four in the column two. And now let me add some 
more pages into this menu just to populate and serve as examples. We still does not have the look as the theme demo with the mega menu. So what to do? We need to go into the main item, in this case the item called pages. Set the color widget as one health once we have only two sub items under it. And in drop down type set as mega menu drop down. Let me check. We are getting closer. Let me add the submenu background image. Go to our WordPress media section and copy the URL, the link of any image that you want to display as drop down menu background image get the URL copy and post into submenu background image let me check the result We may need to align the image. Background size, cover, background position, center and center. Let me see the result. Excellent. Once the wide menu is recommended for multiple columns, we will turn it back to the boxed menu. As you can see, you can edit everything in your menu. Let me add some icons into this submenus. We already have another guide here in our YouTube channel about how to add icons into your menus. I will leave the link in the description below and a card over here. So feel free to watch it. And it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, come here back later for more, and all the best!